Welcome back to Jaeger Racing. Today we're going to be installing this QA1 drive shaft on our 2015 Ford Mustang. So some might ask, why install a drive shaft? Well, in my experience, I actually really enjoy putting a nice new shaft on any of my cars. Well, it kind of shores up, making sure any of the joints, if there's any problems with them. Um, actually, that was one of the big problems I had in the Miata when I first got it. Um, also, coming from the Subaru, uh, it definitely lightens up that drivetrain to give it that little bit more of a, a crisp feel. Um, and, well, technically, it's stronger. Although, I don't really plan on running any more power. Um, hey, what's not to like about something that's stronger, lighter, and it'll make you go faster? So, picked up the QA1 drive shaft. Never used QA1 before, but I figured I'd give them a shot. They've uh, had some good reviews. I uh, got a good recommendation from the guys over at Speed Academy, so uh, figured I'd give it a shot. So, here we go. Um, it's gonna be a really fun install. I wish it was as easy as the Subaru, but I didn't even have to take off the exhaust, but gonna have to take some of the exhaust off. And at the same time, I'm gonna throw in my transmission bushing from white line because well i'm already going to be right there so let's get to install here's a stock drive shaft and how it sits and how weirdly rusted and terrible it looks awesome all right <laughs> so drive shaft is now out got this uh Nice pretty little hole here for a pretty little carbon fiber drive shaft to slide right in. You're going to do a quick measure and see uh, how much these things weigh. So that says 36.4. 21.6. So a solid 15 pound savings. I can deal with that. So, as you can tell, there's colors, green, purple, orange, on top of a line here, and all of that is to make sure that this shaft is as balanced as it could ever be in its life ever in the world. Um, QA1 is definitely going the extra mile here to make sure that everything is perfect on this drive shaft. So, now, What we're doing is we're taking this all apart so that we can take this part here and mount it on the car before we bolt the shaft to it. So now, just using this hammer and tap it around and then you just get this off and make sure you remember to line the yellow lines up and that'll keep this balanced. Then we're gonna bolt these on with a little blue Loctite and they'll go through and attach this. And they gave us supplied brand new hardware that we'll use as well. So here's where the fun begins. We're gonna take this and bolt this in here like so. And that's what our drive shaft adapter looks like on the car. And then that allows us to mount the drive shaft up. So now all we gotta do is put a little Loctite and torque it to the correct specs. So now I have Loctite on each one of these guys. Just gonna zip them in a little bit. Now, we have the big boy tools and we set it to 47. And I'm wishing that I raise the car more. This has got to go in like
I'm gonna use this to hold it. And now it's up in there, and I would definitely check to make sure nothing's going to touch, rub, or anything like that, which everything looks good. So now all I gotta do is put the rest of the bolts in and torque it down and make sure to use blue Loctite on everything. Ouch. All right, the QA1 drive shaft fully installed. I will say, I hate people who use Allens where Allens really don't need to be used because this right here, it, it doesn't really fit well. Um, try again, QA one. Try again, please. But other than that, it's really good. All right, so while we're under the car, working in the transmission area, putting the drive shaft in, I figure I'll go ahead and put this white line bushing in. So this is a transmission bushing for the Ford Mustang GT kind of helps solidify the placement of the shifter making sure that the transmission isn't wobbling back and forth so on and so forth give you a little bit more of a firmer feel um, I'm really looking forward to that because as you kind of go around on track you get G loads going either which way um, which can make the shifting a little different in various places um, so this should help solidify that so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in real quick really easy install basically all you gotta do is take the transmission mount off I'm gonna use the jack to support the transmission. And at that juncture, then we just lube this up a little bit, slide it in place, bolt it all back on. Kind of a five minute affair. So quick, easy, and effective mod to do to your car. So we take these six bolts off, this will come down, and then we slide it in, and then we bolt it all back up. Not for those. All right, so this is our bushing, and this is where it's gonna go. So then, all you have to do is slide it in. So now, all the void is filled, and now the transmission mount is going to be much stiffer, which allows this to hold to the chassis, which is gonna hold your transmission in place, so now your shifter won't move as much. A lot of bonuses. Now, we reinstall the mount. to put your other bolts in before cranking them down. 